Hello, hello, hello. So today we're going to be working on rugby, and I believe it's epino epi epinode? episode 15. And I thought we'd get back onto the West Coast main line, um, simply because I just wanted to get out of London a little bit and extend this line a little bit and just get some more services going. And, and trying to get these uh, uh, fast trains, these inner cities, uh, a bit more loaded with passengers because I have noticed that sort of there for whatever reason this game it's really hard to get the passengers to use the express or express or fast services and they generally go between smaller distances on the more uh, local services so I'd like to change that up a little bit and see if we can get some more passengers on these get these making a little bit of money even though it's not my main aim to uh, have these guys making money it's more about it looking nice and looking good so we're on board this intercity I believe it's a 225 We'll be stopping at Milton Keynes Central and London Euston only. Um, but today, like I said, it's on to rugby. Um, we're going to do the nice uh, junction as well, the uh, flying junction. Is it flying junction or what's it? What are they called? I can't remember what they're called. Uh, and I will put it in a caption somewhere when I remember. Um, but we're going to do that junction um, because it is where the lines kind of switch after rugby when they go towards Non-Eaton and they go. Uh, up up down down rather than up down up down um when we get sort of building that route to non-eaton uh it'd be better explained i think it goes up up down down and then maybe goes up up down i think there's only th it goes to three and then the other line sort of veers off to the left a little bit off to coventry uh birmingham M airport formerly birmingham international and then birmingham new street and i think looking at the map we will just about fit in those stations i think we're looking at like non-eaton to the right on the west coast main line and on the left birmingham new street and then maybe one stop what we might do is might do is sort of a, a maybe a wolverhampton just beyond that but it won't be quite as far as it should be just to sort of get some sort of ending to the map on the west coast main line and it's some so sort of wolverhampton birmingham is where some of the other lines sort of converge into as well so i'd like to get those junctions in and i think we should just have enough space for that i'm not sure i will check it out as this train just stops at milton Keynes central and we're going to leave it there and we're going to jump up to the top half of the map and take a look see what we got so a little bit of work off camera i've sort of met the west coast main line back up again here as you can see we've got the northampton loop um i've met the lines back up i've just done a quick sort of bit of track obviously it needs uh, a lot of work done to it but i wanted to meet the get get the line down and get the meeting after northampton and um, so we can get get on um, I, I was just test, testing the depth of what kind of depth i had of uh, land before we hit water here and i've put a little bit of track here basically i i did a straight bit of track to there i wanted to get this lined up as much as i could because in here we've got to do the um the junction itself it's kind of got two bridges one track sort of goes around the outside one goes underneath and then one goes over the top and they basically switch sides um i'm gonna with rugby we're gonna do a slightly different sort of build i'm gonna add on one on the on the left platform is, is if we're looking north on the left platform it does have a um a through line or a, a bypass line do we call it on the right side it doesn't but i'm going to add one and then we're going to sort of work out the signaling after and see how we can do that just because i want some services to be flying through here not all of them stop in real life and i'd like to make the transition through the station a little bit smoother simply because obviously we're not working with real life timetables the game's not that intelligent shall we say uh, even though there's some nice timetable mods i don't want to have trains sort of too too stuck here so i'm going to add that bypass line on the on the right side as well just to make sure we have fluid sort of fluid fluid use of the of the uh, of the station itself so what we're going to do is we're going to get kick started with rugby uh rugby has i believe one two three four five platforms five platforms it also does serve it's uh well what does it say it serves the route to non-eaton which will bend off to the right and then the route to Coventry, Birmingham Airport and Birmingham International. Birmingham, we formerly Birmingham International, as I said, and then Birmingham New Street. Here, I've left a little nice straight bit here. As you can see, I'm using a little bit of a turn back for some freight. Here, we're going to build the Daventry industry here, the Durft. Uh, we're going to sort of add that in at some point. I've just sort of laid sort of a turn, a turn back and a little bit of straight track here 
to give me enough to sort of play with and just give me a reference. What I did with Northampton, even though this track is actually disused, I did add uh, a small little bit of industry here just to have it, even if it's disused in real life, I'm using it for some steel because I had nowhere else where I could really put steel in. So we've just got one line coming in here and picking up the steel eventually to get goods going down into, um, into London. And we've got like a steel route going backwards and forwards from here, just picking up a coal and iron, dropping it off here. And then the steel, the steel uh, train comes in and picks it all up uh, when it's rotated through the trucks. That was the long winded explanation of just steel. But I'm quite happy. Northampton's grown a fair bit. I'm quite happy with that. I, I do wish I'd sort of plopped the town a little bit closer, um, especially since I found out that I could use a mod to mark out the areas where I didn't want the AI to build. So I do wish I'd sort of maybe... I might even mark it out off camera and re-plop Northampton a little bit closer, just so we can get some build going on here, maybe. I mean, I could, I guess... I, I wonder if I put some roads here that are not owned by me and maybe put a bus stop somewhere here. It might encourage a little bit of building. There's something we need to find out. We've got some, uh, some uh, was it a quarry here as well, just um, picking up stone. I'm not sure where that gets delivered to, actually. I think that, I think I've just got a couple of trucks that go up and down and use this sort of motorway I've created here. It's kind of, I, I believe it's, I believe it's the M1, but I could be totally wrong. Um, but I have put that in a little bit anyway anyway back to rugby i've decided on a better position for rugby i've had a little play i backed this track up a little bit they're going to meet a bit earlier um i did notice as well that rugby's kind of on a on an angle which has bought me more space so we're going to go for a build here it's because it's on an angle it's going to buy us more space going north as well so we will definitely get sort of new street in i think so we're going to plop this here and what we're going to go for is we're going to go for old and we're going to go for 240 high speed but what we also are going to do is we're also actually i'm going to spin that around we're also going to make these 280 for these slightly longer trains that we have on the service so looking at rugby it's got one two three four five platforms as i said i was right about that at least um and we're gonna build it out from the middle here and hopefully actually let's let's count this so we've got let's i'm going to do this with tracks to make sure i'm building in the right direction here so we have enough for everything so we're going to have on this side we're going to have one two three one two three platform no no that's wrong. I'm absolutely lying. So we've got platform, 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 uh, track, track here, platform, 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 platform. Hold on a sec. No, I've, I've messed this up. Let me, I'm going to have to do it as if I'm building one side so I can work it out. My bad. Hold on. I'm going to have to actually do it so I can visually see it because I can't just count it like that. Because this, this has got kind of a weird sort of layout so is that still 280 let me just double check that did i add oh my god things are going crazy no that's still 240 so we're going to extend this here so on this side let's say we're building this out so we have that 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 and then we have tracks high speed one two three then platform no so we can't go that that far that way right okay let's just double check we can do it this way so platform platform delete one two three uh king's cross i've got to make sure i can fit this in i'm not sure why but my unlimited platforms is not working platform track but we're okay that way track yes so we're gonna go from there okay we're good right i'm gonna delete this and edit this out okay we're there and um, i'm not sure why my um i think it's called unlimited stations or something like unlimited platforms that enables me just to build as long and as wide and as many platforms as i like is not working so what i always am fearful of is like where the middle is when you plop it and how far you can build one way and the other 
so kind of what i was doing just then is just counting until it reached the limit and i realized where the limit was and for whatever reason it was massively lopsided to one side so off screen i just deleted what i wanted and sort of set up a base of where i wanted to start with knowing that i can i've got enough room coming down so that's what i've done if anybody else has got a better way of doing this or is that's just the way it is then fair enough but it's it's it drives me insane so what we've got we've got an outside platform here and then we have another platform here and then i want my through lane here um that platform's kind of longer on the outside it's 240 on the inside um i'm gonna go with it's actually not it's it actually looks longer than the 280 that i'm going with so maybe actually sorry this one's actually here and those two are there okay and then we go to king's cross sorry i've just realized that that one's just extra long it's out here all right we'll do that that's fine and then i want to go back to tracks because i like i said i wanted both sides to have a, a pass pass through through lane lane a bypassing track so that middle one there's the bypass and then after and before i will work it out on the junctions as to where and where they're going and then we need to go back to king's cross we've got double I, I just like double platforms i know it takes up more space but i just think they look better i know there's no need for them now either but i just i i, I just i'm sorry i just think they look better when you're sort of building out things like this and then we need what do we need three more runs of track here uh track, 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 track. high speed this one and this is all the way on the 280 then our through line and then our final one here which is 240 i believe just like that that's lovely and then we just need our um, back to our king's cross and hopefully i have left myself enough room for our building as well which is just on the, to the front of that so that is that that is that so we've got kind of a we'll put the building in while we're here we'll, we'll, we'll put the building and the roof in and, and the, the chairs actually so we're looking at more of a again more of a sort of i wish i did have more variety of buildings but we are looking at medium kind of station building and it's just we have that b area there have i i've built my station wrong okay and we are back kind of i'm just finishing off this bit i can't believe i did that sometimes i'm not used to um obviously you probably noticed by the number of videos i'm not new into this continuously chatting game while i'm gaming um and i think i get carried away on a tangent with my uh talking and actually totally lose track about of, of, of where i am with the actual uh game itself and then i totally messed up and missed a whole pretty platform now these sidings here one side appears to be electrified and the other side doesn't um which is quite cool and there, there does seem on my google maps there does seem to be a little loco uh parked up on those so i will probably use those in fact i need to what i also need to do is extend this out a little bit like so just like that so one side seems to be electrified and one side doesn't so that is basically the rugby platform layout the platform layout's the same pretty much to the best of the game allows we just it doesn't have this this line through the middle here but i really wanted it so i had it Right, we're going to go back to our where we were before with our passenger buildings and we're gonna have a look and it seems to be a reasonably skinny 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 style um but we're gonna go for a, a medium main building here and it's just after that and it's quite long mind you about about there have we got small side building we'll just plop a little small side building on there as well just to mix it up a little bit that's about it and then it's it's completely covered but we're going to put some benches in and bits and bobs first uh we need to go back to king's cross because we need the old style benches and then we've got kind of a mixture of um actually where's our where's how do people is it 
Is it underpasses for uh, rugby? It appears it is. It's, it appears to be underpasses. I'm assuming the underpasses are where the coverings are. I can't see any any bridges. But it appears to be underpasses. Okay, so let's do that first. So we need... We can use the old style underpasses just here in the middle here two here and then we'll do two here and they can be covered right and then we have some benches so what i'm going to try and do is put these because this is all going to be covered here i'm going to put the benches in the middle always find that a little bit nicer and we'll put a couple here as well either side of that either side of the stairs put some here some here and some here and here and here and here just where it's covered that looks pretty good we'll put some here as well uh, like so I, I i don't know why but i think every time i've built this station in the past when i've been playing my own games i i swear that i've done stairs and not underpasses and I'm not sure why. Obviously, I was completely wrong. And that's... It was underpasses this whole time. Right, we've got kind of a multitude of multi-coloured roofing. So, we, we've we got double roofing here. But I'm going to go single. And we're going to go with the old style white here. Even though there's like a white, a dirty white. And then on the outside, we've got... Well, maybe we use the... the Hmm. Maybe we use the dirty one, actually, as the dark. Okay. The dirty one. Use the dirty one as the dark. So we've got that there. And it's kind of... And then here. 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 And here. And then if we use the modern one as the, the, the whiter one, these are the same sort of height. Oh, they are. That's nice. Because it is like that. It's kind of got... It, lo it almost looks like it's half one colour and half another. So I'm toying with the idea of leaving this like this. What's that look like? Now that... It, or does it look too different? Or do I just go with the modern... I'm not really sure. Do I just go with the modern roof? The problem is, is it would, I wouldn't mind so much if it didn't have this edge in. It, it's a shame that there isn't two identical ones like this that are two different colours. That'd be quite cool. Now I'm not sure whether to go with the old or the new style roof. I might go with the, the more modern style roof because it's not that old. Yeah, we're going to go with that. So we're going to delete this. Yeah, and we're going to lay the modern. I think it's just the shape is just more fitting. It just looks a bit too uniform, that's all. And then we have a little bit of covering over here, like so. Fantastic. So that is a uh, rugby. We're going to name that rugby. Oh, capitals are wrong way around there. Rugby. And then we're going to get on to the uh, the uh, approach, the approach to rugby. I've taken a look at this and I think I can about narrow it down um, which way we're we facing. I'm facing the completely wrong way. That would have been interesting. We're going to ignore these and we're just going to work with the right side first. The approach to rugby, obviously, because what we've got, we've got the um, grade separated junction coming up and I'm going to have to squeeze this in pretty tight but i'm gonna go for it anyway we're gonna give it a try so what we're gonna do is we're gonna work with the outside kind of track first and get the the approach in first so we have, we're gonna meet this up and because i do want because there is like a, a switch just after this this is kind of why this is kind of left here as well it's quite handy and then we're gonna keep this we're gonna bend this out slight ever so slightly keeping it on the level about there and then these two are going to come out and bend away ever so slightly this way on the level as well. Like so. And then we have a switch. If I can get that in. 
just there. And let me just take another look at this. We've got that switch that leaves after that. Yeah, that's that. That's that switch there. And then the and then there's another switch here. For these two. Like so. Okay. And then what we want is let's have a look at the I need to go forwards in my go okay. And then yeah, and then this one bends off this way. We're gonna pop that there, and then we're gonna pop our track construction. And I need to work this out. So we have crossing angle can stay the same a second. That can stay the same. We want tunnel height nine. I'm gonna go this darker color. And upper track and upper track and lower tracks are one apiece for this. And we want the crossing angle just to be a little bit longer. Maybe about there. That actually looks pretty decent. Because it is quite elongated. Can we get that as long as we can? Like so. That's nice. And then we want high speed. Why is there high speed tracks? Catenary, yes. Why is that still standard tracks when I've selected high speed? What? Standard high speed track. Want that place there. And that's that's in the right position. That one's right. And then we have this one. So we're gonna back this up a tiddly little bit here then track and we want that to hook up to that like so and then what we have is a little bit of well that's worked out quite well hasn't it leave that on the level that has worked out very well because the terrain and then we have a little bit I want this to be a bit faster though can I stretch this out? It's funny how the terrain's worked out for me here. Is that level? Nice. That comes down there. Because then that hooks up to that. Like so. That has worked out beautifully. And then what we can do is is back to our track constructions and we can almost add another one of these why is that reset itself that's really annoying stay on the high speed high speed high speed and that right so then we need to lower the terrain here not that low but that'll do for now because we can sort that out after back on that if we go yeah we get ourselves loads of room that's fantastic that's about right there we can now level this off a little bit that's fine that doesn't really matter and then what we want is this track to go straight into that i believe yep and then this one needs to come in and this is our one that's the trains that stops so this is our modified bit of track here so we want that just to go like that this one's for the they're gonna leave this one and go to that one and then i need to check this out this side because this is where it gets a bit a bit interesting okay and then this one right so then we're gonna have this comes out so about there then we're gonna have you and you're gonna veer off this way stay on the level you're going to come around. And I'm going to flatten this land here because this is where we're going to have some bit of junction going on. Like so, that'll do. So I just want all the junctions to be nice and flat. Okay, and then you switch onto that somewhere along the lines of like that. You bypass everything you join that so you just come you just stay oh god press the wrong button you just sort of 
we just bend you out a little bit here keep you on the level for now you come into this like so is that right yeah that's right you come into that like that because that gives me yeah space before that well it's kind of the other way around really you come into that but we'll have it like that it's kind of it's the same but slightly different shape <laughs> uh so that comes before there so that's kind of more here i guess not so much there what it is is this this one kind of actually let me just reshape this a little bit because that just doesn't look doesn't look right doesn't look right i'm not happy with that i do need some space though because there are some sidings so let's do this you hook onto that and then you come out of that that's better that's better that's better Okay, and you are just a bypass. You're through there. That's junction there. You're on there. That's lovely. Right. Okay. What we're going to do now is we're just going to hook this. We're going to let this sort of do its own thing. Um, we're going to kill you. I could have made this loads more compact, you know. Still loads of give on this. loads of give. I could have made this 10 times smaller. Oh well. That can go in there. Well, that can go like that. And all the way up here. Well, I've connected the wrong tracks to the wrong bit of track. Julian, come on, mate. You're on that one. And you are on that one. And then you can come over like so. That's quite nice. And you can come around uh, a little bit. Come down a touch. Then we're going to make this a bit spacious here. This is a very, 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 very modified version of this. Come around. Can you bend? I'd like you to bend. How's that look? Without a tunnel. Be nice. I'd like you to bend. That looks okay. I can work with that. Where's the other bit of track? There it is. Okay, so we can have a little bit of what we wanted here. A little bit of them coming together. Like so. And I'm going to probably work with this approach a little bit off camera. That's actually not bad. That's actually not bad at all. Let's have a look at our junction. Oh, look at that. I'm quite happy with that. I'm not sure about this. This is a bit wormy. Mm, it's not too bad though. The nice thing about that as well is because because the terrain changes, we don't really see it, which I'm quite happy about. So what I'm going to do is off camera, I'm going to sort of detail this as some road bridges. There's some bridges under here. Um, there's also like we've also got the junctions coming out of this what i'll probably do is off camera is obviously do a video tidy up this make this look a bit a little bit prettier add it there's a nice like i said nice road bridge there add that and off camera i'll probably do the the uh, exit junction we call it an exit junction the the northern approach should we say um off camera in a sort of detailing thing and then what i probably do is once i've detailed that bit and just this little junction here is we'll probably do we'll do a cab ride on the um and i want to tidy up this bit of rail as well that's ugly isn't it um we'll probably do a cab ride on a 225 uh, in city um from rugby down to houston as well because we haven't actually done one yet because i haven't felt that the line's been long enough so now it is so we can do that anyway thank you very much for watching guys i really appreciate it i hope you've enjoyed this mess of a junction that i've built although i'm quite happy with it i think it could be a little bit quicker 
I think there's some areas where I might might speed it up. Obviously, in real life, this is a bit close. This these stay run together for a bit longer, but because of the nature of the map and the space, even though I think I could have even squished this up a little bit more, I'm not really sure. Anyway, there it is. This is what we've ended up with. Rugby. Take care, guys. See you in the next one.